The cellar uh, where we are exists since the 12th centuries. The monks of uh, Pontigny Abbey, it's an abbey which is not too far from here, were producing wine. So they built this cellar and they built a wall surrounding a vine called uh, the Clauberu, which is still existing today and we are still making wine from the Clauberu in this cellar. Hello, my name is Athénaïs de Beru. I'm a winemaker in Beru. It's uh, located in Chablis, in Burgundy. We are in France. My family is very small, but we have a very long history. My family arrived in this region five centuries ago, and uh, we have always been producing wine. So it's about 20 generations of uh, winemakers. Heavy burden. <laughs> In all, we have about 50 roots. Some are very old, some are very small. I like this one very much because we have the central heating, so we can use it all the year round. The other one has no heating, so this is more comfortable. The name de Beru is the name of this land. In France, uh, when you buy a land, you bear the name of the land, and it, it is easy so to, f to know from where you come from. We have uh, a very interesting document that is difficult to find elsewhere. These are the coat of arms of the family, which were confirmed by the king Louis XIV. Here is his original document. Louis, his name, par la grâce de Dieu, by the grace of God, roi de France et de Navarre, king of France and Navarre. And then you have the design of the coat of arm, and he signed here, Louis, and the year 1687. I took over the vines in 206. It was very difficult because I'm uh, located in a very classical region where traditions are very strong, people make things a certain way. And uh, I think without any um, disrespect, I just did exactly the opposite of whatever was I was being told. We do biodynamic since uh, 10 years now already. It is very sustainable. It's very uh, environmental friendly for the soils, for the plants, for the air, but also for us working in the vines. I think more and more uh, customers are very sensitive to the way uh, things are produced. People want to know uh, what they're going to eat, what they're going to drink, what has been used to make it or to produce it. I never had many pairs of Birkenstock. I always I used to have one pair and wear them until they die <laughs> and then change. For me, they are the easiest shoes even to work with. They correspond, I think, to my way of living. I learned a lot of uh, humility because if you take the whole history, your input into this history is very small. So somehow we are at the same time completely isolated and at the same time uh, connected with uh, the whole planet in once. At the end, uh, we, we produce a bottle of wine and what is the best connection among people uh, all around the world is uh, sharing a glass of wine.